if the washer and your washer-dryer combo won't start. Here are the six most probable causes. You should first determine if the electrical outlet the appliance is plugged into is providing voltage. You can use a multimeter set to volts AC to help determine this. If not, check to see if the circuit breaker has tripped. A damaged power cord could also prevent the washer from starting. You can use a multimeter to test the cord for continuity, a continuous electrical path present in the part, to determine if the cord requires replacement. Depending on the model, the lid or door switch may prevent the washer from starting when the lid or door is open. If the switch is defective, then the washer won't start even with the lid or door closed. As with the power cord, you can use a multimeter to determine if the switch has continuity. If the switch tests negative for continuity, then it will need to be replaced. It's also possible that the user control board has failed. If some of the buttons work, but others do not, then you will need to replace the board. The main control board is responsible for sending voltage to all the washer components, so a malfunctioning board may be the cause of the washer not starting. Since this is rarely the case, you should confirm the other potentially defective components are functioning normally before replacing the control board. On some models, a faulty timer may be responsible for the washer not starting, although this is not a common problem. As with the main control board, you should first confirm that the other more likely defective components are working properly before considering a timer replacement. All of the parts shown in this video are available on our website. Be sure to enter the full model number of your appliance in our website search bar to find the specific replacement part that will fix your washer-dryer combo.